Hi, Kevin Conley, Applications Engineer for Ernest Machine Products, reviewing another uh, question we commonly receive here at Ernest that deals with grade markings. The one thing to remember, in this country, there are several organizations that specify the grades for fasteners out there. The most common grades that we deal with are called the SAE grades, the grade 2, the grade 5, the grade 8 most common grades sold in this industry. There are other standards organizations that specify grades. ASTM is one of them. There are mil spec grades. But the grade two, five, and eight are the most common grades that we deal with. And I wanted to review what kind of markings are put on those kind of nuts, a common question that we get uh, in, uh, here at the, our tech center. Grade two product is the down and dirty, low strength product. Grade two fasteners do not have to have any markings. Grade two bolts and nuts are commonly called slick heads because there's no identification markings on them. Grade 5 fasteners are the medium strength fasteners. Grade 5 fasteners, when you're dealing with the bolt, the required marking on it is what's called three radio lines plus the manufacturer's mark. Why the industry picked three lines and not five for a grade 5 is beyond me, but that's uh, how the SAE standardized their marking. Nut markings come a lot more complicated. The SAE spec for marking a grade 5 nut is that you have to have two circumferential lines 120 degrees apart. That's two lines with a space in the middle of it, plus the manufacturer's mark. The one thing we here at Ernest do is our registered marking is E5 for grade 5 products. So if you see the E5 on it, you know you're dealing with a grade 5 product. We always have the SAE standard marking to go with it, but we make it a little bit easier to identify what grade you're dealing with, we, I feel, with our marking. The high strength fastener in the SAE world is the grade 8. Grade 8 is the strong stuff, the good stuff. A grade 8 marking has to have six radio lines around the head, plus the manufacturer's marking. Here at Ernest, our registered marking is E8, makes it easy to identify when you see our E8 on the head, you know you're dealing with a grade 8 fastener. And again, when you're dealing with the nuts, the nuts are a lot more complicated. The nut marking for grade 8 is two circumferential lines only 60 degrees apart. So the two lines are relatively close to each other, plus a manufacturer's mark. And again, E8 is our manufacturer's mark, uh, so it makes it easy to identify it. Uh, nut markings can get very complicated, especially when, nut marks, when nuts have damage to the top of the head. You're not sure, are you seeing a circumferential line, or are you just seeing a nick in the in the product. The SE spec for nut markings does allow some alternate ways of marking it. One common way is what is called two notches on the hex corners. Two notches on the hex corners means it's a grade eight. If there's one notch on the hex corner, it's a grade five. Two notches is a grade eight. The second standard uh, uh, industry out there that specifies strength levels for fasteners is called the ASTM. ASTM strength levels are commonly called structural fasteners. Structural fasteners are used for building buildings, bridges, warehouses. Structural fasteners are different. They use an, a letter and a number designation. The low strength ASTM structural designation is A307. The medium strength is A325. The high strength is A490. And ASTM, just to make it a little more complicated, doesn't use the same nut designations like we do in the SAE. If you have a grade five bolt, you use a grade five nut. ASTM world, if you have an A325 bolt, you use an A563 grade C nut. If you have an A490 bolt, you can either use an ASTM A194 grade 2H nut or an ASTM I563 grade DH nut. It gets a lot more complicated in the structure world than in the standard SAE world that most of us deal with. Remember, this information is available to you on our technical library on our website. Feel free to give us a call with any kind of questions you have. Send us an email. We want to be your fastener experts.